my name is Jack Mill with the House Whisper Show. I thought today's content would uh, take you into a basement where, or lowest portion of the home where we can talk about macerator pumps. Macerators are basically human waste grinders. So during the course of an inspection or via emails, Jack, I want to put a bathroom in my basement. How does that work? So a macerator is basically a 42 gallon, looks like a trash can, but it has a grinder pump. So it's completely different than a sump pump. Because of that, once it hits the float, uh, the, the waste then ejects upward into the sanitary sewer line. It does require venting. Every once in a while, I'm gonna see a macerator that has what we call a, a studer vent, cheater vent, quick vent. We have a lot of funny names for them, but that's wrong, okay? You can't be pulling air from that source. So it either has to go back into the sewer lateral or it has to go through the roof. What's the cost? Pre-COVID installed was about 1250 to 1300. Post-COVID is now about 18 to 1900. Um, do, how do they work? They work wonderfully, provided that they're not on a GFCI circuit. Several months ago, we talked about ground fault circuit interrupters and where they should be used and where they should not be used. Uh, and personally, they should not be used on a macerator pump because usually these macerators sit in a closet or in the corner and no one's going to keep an eye on it to see if the, if the circuit had tripped. So how do we get around that? couple ways. One, we can put it on a single pole outlet. But more importantly, I've been talking about pump alarms. They use these with on-site sewage systems where you'll have a holding tank and a pump tank and then everything gets ejected out into the field. Well, that injector pump fails on that sewage system. Well, it sounds its owner's horn and lets you know, do not flush. We suggest those on macerator pumps too, again, because they're basically shallow containers, so you need to know if it has failed. Now, to get around the GFCI issue, if you're gonna dedicate one outlet for the pump and one outlet for the pump alarm, then it can be a standard duplex outlet and not be ground fault protected. Conversely, they make another tank that sits right behind the toilet this reminds me more of a, something that you'll find on a boat. Uh, it's a very shallow tank. Uh, every time you flush, uh, it ejects the waste into about an inch to an inch and a quarter pipe. So when I see these on site, I tell my clients, you know, um, how do I put this nicely? Pee only, no poos. Okay, so because the, the, the feces may block the system. So look into macerators. I think it's well worth it. Basement powder rooms right now are run between five and six thousand dollars. If you want a full bath, uh, run around ten. Um, if you're putting a full bath in your basement, uh, keep in mind that you do have to fill the traps fairly often uh, for your shower or for your tub. Otherwise, sewer gases uh, can work their way back into that finished space. So if you like the content, leave me a comment and I'll see you next month.